You smell that? I smell another trashy isekai that we can farm this season. This is called Failure Frame. We saw the trailers. It seems to be a mix of like Arifurate in the sense that you're getting summoned with the rest of your class and there's obviously shitty people. And a little bit of Skimichi Mula Fantasy where, you know, the goddess is really that trash. Is she really that bad? Let's check out today's episode. You're already getting bullied, bro. <laughs> shitty dad! Immediately! Bro, you gave us old ass rice, a little bit of dried ass cucumbers, and like lettuce. This looks trash. Who the fuck would eat this? Cook better. <laughs> Evil looking brat? It's your face. It's your genetics. <laughs> trash, dude. Trash, dude. <laughs> Even in the picture, you can see the mom, and like, the kid does not want anything to do with the dad. Look at the body language. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's busy watching a sitcom. Thinking about another uh, romance life. She's ready to leave the husband right now, too. She's just ignoring this shit, and she's just watching a uh, rom-com sitcom. You're like, damn. I wish a man could take me like this. Well, starting the anime with child abuse is uh, something I didn't expect, but it is what it is. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is the, uh, what's her name? Uh, the girl from Furata that became a priest and swapped, swapped body into Noins. Kaori, she's the Kaori of this show, I think. I don't know, I just look at her. It's like student class, it's like student prez, you know, like, uh, make, right? It's a student prez type. This, this is the, uh, the shitty guy that, uh, betrayed us. Uh, he died at the end of season two. What's his name? What's, what's his name? He looks just like him. The, no, no, left is Kaori and this guy, I forgot his name, but you know what I'm talking about if you've seen, you know, Hiyama maybe in the Arifurata? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shogo's the shitty guy. She loves rom-com manga, actually. Okay. I really hope that this girl is not evil. Please, please. Give us some base girls like Shizuku from Arifurata. Please. Miyuki. Gal. Sis. No one is gonna- you think you're gonna fucking get her line number by like stealing her manga? This is stupid as hell. But um, all these names I'm not gonna be able to memorize in the beginning. Like there's gonna be too many names, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it suited up later on. The elite. Okay, so we have a shitty teacher. So we're not gonna have like a very loving, caring teacher like a Nai Furata. But the two sisters here, right? They're pretty normal, so this is a good sign. The main character already said, right? They're pretty normal right now, so I hope they're good. Yeah, this does feel like instant death episode one. We need to go over a bridge now. Huh? Nah, bro. Stop being so creepy. Yeah, bro, you're being cringe. <laughs> His jagged teeth is not helping, man. He's like, cat. <laughs> Looking like a lizard, bro. <laughs> Reptilian motherfucker. <laughs> His name is Airman because he's so plain like air. Oh! The big man of the class just for you can just tell. Look at him. Look at him. I see him. I think he's the alpha of the class. Yep. Yup, I want to be part of his gang, bro. Look at him. Look at his book. Give it back, Shogo. He's so cool. <laughs> Not even interested. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Looking at my phone. Dude, he is so sick already. Now, I wonder if he's going to be a good or a bad character. I hope he's good, right? He's sick right now. He is cool. Based. Based. Everyone loves Takuto, huh? Honestly, maybe hot take. I love this already. Like, I genuinely love like this whole setting where immediately new anime and like we're already in like this like whole class structure and you have the whole like social hierarchy of like in every character's like this guy you know he's a loser he's the bully he's like the cool guy you know this is the popular guy this is the popular girl like i love this shit something about like just like being introduced to a completely new environment new dynamics is like very exciting to me <laughs> Uh, 
another kid that gets bullied. The two C cast <laughs> class. What? It's just it. That's enough for now. I want to help anyone if you're trying to do suicide. If you're gonna do it, do it when I'm not your teacher, so I don't have to fill out the paperwork. Damn. This is like <laughs> everybody here sucks. Every well, not everybody, but like a lot of these people in this bus, they all suck, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but you just say that. That dream? <laughs> Pierced a myriad borders to the unknown to me. We're about to get isekai. We were, we heard the um little beside when they were showing the bus tires, right? There was like different words being said too. So we're about to get transported. Summon those brave heart and spirit. We're being summoned. <laughs> Under the guidance of Goddess Vicious's light, manifest here in Arion. Let's go. Goddess Vicious. Isekai, baby. Let's go. Woo! She is viciously sexy. Opening? No opening. Our, oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. So, what's the plot? Here in Arion, whenever the vast evil known as the Great Demon Empire appears, we summon. Basically, it's just the same, you know, isekai trope. Got it. You got the good human side with the goddess summoning heroes, and then you got to fight against the demon lords. Okay. 200 years ago, heroes beat the demons. Come to summon again. Ooh, these legs. Wow. The teacher's here, man. Dude, Sensei immediately understood the subject. He's like, all right, well, you know, I'm here. Let's listen to the goddess. Though, like, pretty mature, pretty level-headed. He's not even, like, asking questions. He's just, like, immediately, yep, isekai time. Okay. That's why he did that. That's why. He just looked at the titties once and he folded. <laughs> Yeah, he just like us for real, for real. Are they gonna kill us? If we say no? If you look at this eye immediately here, this already tells me like she is twisted, right? Something about this eye, like you can already tell that she's gonna be trash. The tra like the trailer already hinted very hard that she is evil, but like, oh my god, you look at those goddess eyes, it's like, I'm not like a feeling about this, man. Maybe she's a demon, man. <laughs> <laughs> Demon King Essence. How convenient. The only way to go back is if you have the Demon King Essence or something. So slay the Demon King is the only way to go back. But it's interesting, huh? How much of this is a lie? Like, what, how, we, can we really believe her? Right? Something about this is already off. Like, it's very convenient. Okay. Demon King, slay him. Number two is... I'm confused here. One is to get his heart. One is to get his heart. Just get the heart of the Demon King. And then the second is... Collect the Demon King Essence released upon the defeat of the Demon King. So even if you defeat the Demon King, you can't just get his heart or something? Anyways, you collect the Essence and put it in this fucking necklace thing. I'm kind of confused. Both are kill the Demon Lord. One is the heart and one is the other, like, Essence that then gets trapped in this crystal necklace. Kind of weird, but okay. He's right! He's right! <laughs> every time every time we see the god it's just oh my god everything is just so erotic about her man <laughs> well shit if she's getting on her knees man she's getting on one knee for this shit you gonna say no i mean like uh, okay <laughs> okay i'll do it <laughs> どうか。あの、質問をよろしいでしょうか。どうぞ。あ、そう。
<gasps> what kind of powers? We get cool classes? What's being brought? CJ Monster versus a prisoner. Why? Why would you? <laughs> Minamon was not built for this. It, it was C it was CG. No, no, no. <laughs> this this question right here. It was CG, right? It, 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 yes, it was. But that's breaking the fourth wall. We're watching an anime. The beast was CG, but this itself is not a CG. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? It is CG, but it's not CG. Honestly, the beast there, it wasn't even bad. Like, it looked kind of wonky in the beginning here, right? It looked a little bit wonky, but other than that, like, everything was fine. Like, this is great animation so far. Like, I have no problem with this anime. Like, it may feel very generic, and it, it is very generic, but, like, I love this setup. Like, it feels like just tradition in this channel, you know? Every season, we try new isekais. It's like, oh, what's gonna happen? truck -kun? Oh, it's Buskun. All right, transported. Oh, Goddess shows up. Everyone's not believing. Who's gonna get the powers? Is she evil? You know, stuff like this. I love the entire setup of this isekai so far. <laughs> The sisters are chill as fuck though. The two sisters are unfazed, man. These two, they gotta be special, man. Are you ready for everyone else to get OP crack skills, especially the bullies? And then we're gonna be given the worst skill of all. Are you ready? Because it's gonna happen. You know it's gonna happen. Let's go. Everyone that's evil is gonna get broken ass powers, man. This guy, like, I hope they go against the cliche and give him a shitty skill, but usually, in order to get this revenge plot set, the bullies are also getting a pretty OP skill, man. <laughs> Fuck me. <gasps> no! No! You didn't even. No! <laughs> Immediately! This is, these dudes are fucking glazing him already! He just put his hands on there, like, oh! oh never seen this level of talent in a century like fuck you yes. oh. Oh. Takato? is this Takato the cool guy or the sisters Takato. bro broke the crystal now this guy is sick. He's like a cooler... What's his name? K Koki, right? Koki was kind of the similar role in like Arifu at the War. He's like, you know, the cool guy of the class, the hero, right? The most potential. But he was a bit of a white knight cuck. This guy, I'm not completely sure about him. But so far, I enjoy him. It was, you broke it, dude. <laughs> That's a very good question. Talk about this, like, the fuck you using alphabets? Translator optimizes. Okay, sure. Translator optimized. Now we can skip the bullshit of how do we, you know, decipher or, like, you know, uh, translate between isekai language and Japanese language. There we go. That's the mechanic here. The best. A? Rom com girl. Also cracked. Really? A class? A class? What? Three SSR pulls! God damn! Dev's got this fucking gotcha roll rigged, man! Triple S, bro! Imagine one fucking multi pull and you get triple SSR banner unit 50 51 every time. God damn. What rank? Probably D. E? F. They wouldn't, they wouldn't go lower than F. G? No, they wouldn't go below F, right? F, I'm trying to think of the lowest tier pop. <laughs> Maybe there's not even a rating. Z? We'll see. Let's see it. Purple? Not even a comment. Next. Next in line, please. Please. Next. Not even a, not even any kind of comment like, whoa, so strong, oh, whoa, so weak. It's like, next. Eh. Skipped. 
I mean, our nickname is Air because we just exist, right? No, 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 no. How many of these shows have we seen where the main character looks very weak in the beginning, but it turns out they have one of the most OP skills, and later on, after they depart from the main group, they come back and save everyone? No, it's going to be fun. It's just, I wonder what the purple light meant, right? He's, he's going to be absolutely special. But why purple light? And why did the goddess ignore her, other than him just being weak? I wonder if there's something deeper there. <laughs> What? 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 Dark hero, strongest of all. This is the kid that was gonna commit suicide or something, right? That was the kid that was getting bullied, right? This is dangerous as fuck. This is damn. The other loser, exactly. The bus driver. Remember, the teacher was like, "If you're gonna, you know, end yourself, like, do it when I'm your teacher." This is he about to go on like a streak of a villain arc, man. That quiet kid. Exactly. We just gave the quiet kid an AK. Exactly, Shinoi. <laughs> like, we're fucked. We're cooked. I hope we were nice to this kid. Because don't go to school tomorrow. Some of you are nice. <laughs> we're cooked. We're cooked. <laughs> you know what? Maybe there could be a good... Uh, like, I would totally be fine with him getting revenge on the bully, right? Hopefully he doesn't go on a ramp and killing everyone else. But the bully? Absolutely. Kill him. End him. Destroy him. <laughs> Is teacher gonna get a brace? Or stats or shit too, yeah? Uh, we're just trash at everything. Like single digits and everything except MP. We are E, not F. We're E class hero. E for... Evil? Nah, what are we, man? Thank you, Megami. Okay. You have innate status, unique skills. Okay, so like, this is actually pretty OP. Honestly, debuff? Debuff class? Like, debuff class is very OP, man. And also awaken later on. Okay, so right now we have inflict debuff, but like, maybe we can also fucking have like, detonation of like, dots or something, man. Stack the poison dots, detonate. Yeah, we're on the path to nihility, baby. <laughs> Sensei's D-class? Okay, but like... Man, bro really has no awareness. I bet the Megami wants to kill him right now. I bet the goddess wants nothing more than to just end him. They shitting on the teacher, bro. They shitting on the teacher. Why only him? Why him? One more thing. You're the lowest rank of all heroes. Are they gonna like... Crucify him here? Are they gonna like humiliate him here? What's going on? It's just gonna. He's gonna call us now? What does dealing with mean? So, shobun des. Desu ga ikinari sono ba de shobun suru des. Okay. So, kore watakushi tachi wa. A chance. Are we gonna have to fight that CJ monster? It's the chance that, you know, prove your worth right now? Set of ruins. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is our path to glory. This is our labyrinth. This is where we're gonna train and become Giga Cracked. So he, she's obviously gonna send us here. It, with all anticipation that we're gonna die. This is not a trial. This is an execution. Not even showing the rest of the class because, again, in the past, they've always, you know, uh, didn't like this happening. So she will send him to the SSS class dungeon. He will get there. He'll grind his way out. And by the time he's out, he'll be so strong. And then the power fantasy happens. Oh, dangerous. I don't know. Yeah. So this is the most dangerous ruin. <laughs> well, uh, the name literally says Ruins of Disposal. I wonder what that means. Are we going there to get disposed? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be fine, guys. Debuff. Like stun people and shit. In this world specifically, debuffs are worthless? Interesting. I thought that in RPGs and video games, debuffs are OP, but for some reason, everyone here has cleanse? Ah, high resistance. So like, 
basically it's not 100% guaranteed that you'll land that, right? It's very low, low chance that it's going to get a debuff, okay? But main character's going to have like 100% debuff uptime, 100% he's going to have that, right? Low chance and too short of a duration for the debuff. Kuzu tier! We're trash tier being sent to the dumpster, but she got no idea. She's going to regret these words later. Yo, are we done? Are you done insulting us? Not like this, big bro. Big bro, I thought you were so cool. I thought you might be a hero of justice. No, you're just like them, big bro. I hate every one of them. What about the rom-com girl? I still have faith in the rom-com girl and the two sisters. I, those three characters, I have hope. Oh. Who? You know what? If the school shooter and us team up, I'd be kind of down. The, I, I would honestly be very down. Like, are you, are you genuinely here to help us or what? So these are other moments where he was nice to the school, you know, the, the bully kid. And then there's that piece of shit again. Okay, so he was the only, you know, he was the only guy that was nice to the, you know, the quiet kid at school. So is he going to help us? Yes. Yasu, you got my back? Yes, Sandoro. He's power tripping immediately. I thought he would show us some favor because like we were there for him. But it's like, nah. You believe me now. I don't care. You're beneath me. Fuck you. Yasu sucks. I do. Yasu sucks. But I do want him to just pop off on the other kids as well. They all suck. They all suck. There is no justice in this world. She threw a fucking fanny pack down. I hope this is an infinite bag at least. Is it an infinite bag? Come on, what is it? It's our unique item. Okay. What? You put shit in the bag and it just glows and that's it? There's no function beyond glowing. It's... It's her flashlight in the dungeon. We have a flashlight in the labyrinth. This sucks. This fucking sucks so much. Wait, Rockcom girl's here for us though? Rob, 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 come girls with us though. My teacher is such a cuck now. Oh! Yo, did she dodge that? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did she? Did she block that? She did. She did. Wow. Okay, so this already shows us that she has some like martial arts technique and dance. That's a lot of you know a lot of fan service, but like wow. She blocked the move from the goddess. That's that's huge, right? But it's fine. She still blocked one, though. That's impressive. Damn, the goddess is actually throwing hands, though. That's hilarious. What a cruel, cruel world. Come on. Roast her. At least roast her before you disappear. Just shit on her right now. Yes, we've heard it over and over. I get it. What he? The fuck? What was that? Oh, he just flexed. He just. He, he, I thought he was trying to make a point or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Dragon, draconic buster. Okay, the goddess actually looked very impressed there, huh? The goddess genuinely looked impressed there at you know him using the fucking CGI. You think this CGI is bad? Have you seen some of the other anime we're watching right now? The animation here is extremely passable, man. There's nothing jarring about this. Like, that, that smoke? Like, are we, like... This is some of the best CGI I've seen in the animes that we've been watching recently, man. Is there anything else? You just wanted to just flex? Yo, Roaster! <laughs> Oh, RIP my ass! You fall! Oh, this, this, this fucking piece of shit. This fucking piece of shit. Everyone here sucks. This is gonna make for the best revenge story, though. This is gonna make for the best, best revenge story. 
RIP. Fuck you, Takuto! Good! The sisters! Good! Good! They can see past it. Because everyone else here is obsessed on like, oh, we're the winners. We're on the good side. Thank God we're not the trash hero. You know, we are chosen ones. Therefore, it's like the Stanford prison experiment where you give a, a certain group of people power. They will be so cruel to those people beneath them, man. But the sisters, man, the sisters, they good. We got the rom-com girl and the two sisters. That's all we need. That's all we need for a horror. Everyone else here can get wiped, though. I don't care. Well... There is like the elite of the class, right? Then there's like this group here too. I think that there's gonna be a separate faction. The sisters are definitely good. The rom-com girl is good, but this group right here, these kids, they're looking over the rom-com girl too. I think that these kids are the quote unquote non-elites. And there's this girl as well who was very cheeky that said meow or something during the bus. So I have high hopes, the neutral group exactly from these dudes. Uh, the, the other dudes on the staircase though, they trash, right? The other dudes in the staircase right beside Takuto, they're all trash. But we have a neutral group, and we got two sisters to worry about. Okay, I think we can do this. We can do this. You're ugly! <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> you had a sibling? This is a backstory? Is it himself talking to himself, or is it a sibling? I think it's his inner self right now. He's having a schizo moment, right? He's saying... No matter how much you repossess and pretend to be a harmless person. So, the main character's true persona is not a harmless person. He's simply acting this way, like air, because he got beat up by the parents. And because of household abuse, he became a kid that was very quiet and wanted to stay out of trouble. But secretly inside, he is a monster that's about to go crazy. I like this setup. <laughs> Show your true self! <laughs> Let's go! The Megami though, the Megami. Oh, the Megami though. Oh, just. I have a thing for really hot nil flight characters that are evil though. So this is actually perfect. Just like Skimichi Mulu Fantasy, what we haven't seen in her face, or like. In Shield Zero, Multi, right? Like, oh, they're just so hot, but they're just so despicable. But it's like, oh, just, oh, there's just something in me. I just want to, like, oh. Did they finger? No, no, he went like this. I, I, I thought he went like this there. I, in my head cannon, he fingered. In my head cannon, they, they blurred the middle finger here. He went like this. He did. He did. He did in my head cannon. Okay, now we're in the ruins of disposal. Oh, this is some CGI, all right. Oh, that was some shitty CGI, all right. <laughs> Monsters? Cheeky motherfuckers. They're min-maxing pretty hard though, huh? They're min-maxing pretty hard. Right now, it's not CGI, but like whenever you don't see his face in his background in the dark signs, right? It's always CGI, man. And they min-max this shit, right? Because like, this scene is doesn't need to be drawn, so they're gonna save resources here. So I guess it's smart at the end of the day, right? Even this is CGI right now, right? The, the scene of him like standing up was all CGI. This entire scene, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they say that for the cave scenes. So hopefully, we're not going Arifureta right though, right? Hopefully, we don't actually just commit to Arifureta route where every monster CGI and he's in this just shitty CGI fighting. Hopefully not. First episode so far, so far has been pretty passable. Right now, it's like, ooh, I'm seeing the ugly side now. <laughs> Debuff him. <laughs> Stun his ass. I would call him a pussy, but like imagine if you're like a 15 year old kid that just got put into this place, bro. Like I'd already be dead. Oh. Okay, what the fuck was that trip, bro? What the fuck? What in the CJ trip was that, bro? What the fuck was this sequence right over here? <laughs> What is this anime called? Failure Frame? This anime is called Failure Frame, right? And that is an ironic fucking title. 
<laughs> these are fucking failed frames, all right. These these are failed frames, all right. Like, could it why? <laughs> Why fail your frame? It's just fa now people are just gonna dunk on this anime for having shitty CGI here. They see failed frame. Stun his ass. You can do this. Stun his ass. Poison his ass. Make her the moment. Lucky or what? If he can always do this, it's gonna be busted. Unless she lied. Unless she lied and she just got rid of us because he just hates debuff people. Look, she had a debuff bubble, right? Why would you need a debuff bubble? Think about it. Why would you use a debuff bubble if it's you are a goddess? You are like a legendary MP, like a plate, like a named character, right? But you used a specific mechanic to counter that debuff. Now, was it automatically a passive? I'm not sure. But the fact that she was a little bit scared and put that on, and the fact that he can stun this guy, I don't know. Or maybe there's something special about him that lands all 100% debuffs. I don't know. Goblins? Ugh. Stun it. Way better than Arifurita monsters, though. So far, the monster CGI monsters have been actually good. I can genuinely say that the CGI monsters are much better than Arifurita monsters. Not even close. Paralyze! Paralyze! <laughs> Was it? I don't know. Keep using it. It must be. It, it, it has to be. That's the only explanation. Like, their understanding of debuff. Maybe the goddess was just scared of him, man. And that's why, like, she pushed them aside. Like, she has a hate for debuffs. Or maybe she understood, like, his true potential and wanted to get rid of him. Anyways, his magic is clearly different from what the goddess was explaining. You think I'm fucking tripping? Motherfucker, you're comparing season 2 CGI where they're fucking outside of Labyrinth. I'm fucking comparing season 1 Labyrinth to CGI, bro. Look at season, season 1 content. You're fucking cherry picking right now. The comparison right now is in the fucking Labyrinth. Stop fucking trying to make arguments for the sake of arguments, motherfucker. How fast is it? Like, all you have to do is just paralyze and just wait for your MP. Poison, poison, poison. Let that shit stack. Over. We just farm this shit over, over. Get out of here. Strong enough to beat everyone else. Min maxing, min maxing. He just tired because he uses mana? Stun run out! Run, motherfucker! Come on, his inner side needs to come out. That harmless side air, get out of here. Get over this shit. Brutal side, let's go. The kid was saying, I'll kill you while he was getting beat up. You can tell that there's a dark side to we just need that come out right now. You gotta be your own rescue. Good mentality, actually. Wait, but you have no mana right now, though. What are you gonna do? He can't. He's at zero mana though right now, right? End? That's it. Post credit scene. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Erifu! Erifu! Oh. Nice. So this is gonna be our UA? In our, she's not in the labyrinth. Like maybe we're gonna find a wife in the labyrinth, but interesting that they're just gonna show us. Alright, and that's today's episode of Failure Frame, and you know what?
Um, okay, uh, the fight scenes at the end, I actually didn't really care that much. Like, the, like it was interesting to see what's going to happen with the debuffs with the, against the monsters, but, like, it was pretty lackluster. I love the everything before we got transported, though. Everything before we got transported, just setting up the whole premise of the social structure, the hierarchy of, of different classmates. Like, this is, like, a personal bias. Is I love these settings. They immediately get thrown into a world of different characters and, like, you know, who's the cool guy? Who's the leader of the pack? Who's the bully? Who gets the bully? You know, who's the hot girl? Who's the hot guy? Stuff like that. It's very fascinating. And then... Then you get fucking summoned. This is honestly my favorite Isekai premise. Like, of all Isekai starter packs, right? Like, do you want, like, truck and reincarnation single person? Do you want summoning single person? I enjoy summoning of the entire class. Like, that's why I really loved um, So I'm a Spider, So What too, right? Kumudeska was also the similar setting. Arifurita also the similar setting. This setting, I, I love this shit. When we just get brought in, because it also introduces, like, an immediate, like, a uh, revenge plot, right? It's always that to have some kind of revenge plot. So, our main character's nickname is Air, because he just exists like Air. But, it's only like that because he got beat by his parents. And his inner dark side got suppressed. And now, it's about to come out. The goddess, suspicious as all hell. Apparently, 200 years ago, demons got defeated by heroes, and now 200 years later, it's happening again. And they summon the heroes. And coincidentally, you know, and conveniently, the only way to go back is you need a demon king's elixir, or, you know, the heart, or the blood, or fill up the, the essence in the necklace. Everything about this just seems so suspicious. She is 100% lying about certain things, but I'm not sure exactly what she's lying about. The debuff stuff, was she just misunderstood, or was she trying to gaslight us? Is she a scared of debuffs, or is she like uh just i don't know just he sees debuffs as truly useless but we are super op it's said that it's a low rate of success to land the stuns but we hit them you know both times and the poison is op too the only limiting factor right now is the the lack of the mana pool we have once we get that shit sorted out then we're pretty good hilarious how the one unique item that we get is this bag and that's just a flashlight i wonder if there's more utility beyond that like it can't be just a useless bag like that right and also remember also remember there's gonna be an awakening of the skills as well right there's a chance for awakening of skills to happen so it's not like everything is just set in stone there is three separate factions maybe two basically the elites you know we got the bully and takuto in them and then you have the neutral side right which is like friends of the rom-com girl and kind of just average kids and then there's just you know our main character that just got thrown into the labyrinth i wonder how long this is gonna work to take out because like if they spend a lot of times like this anime could go in multiple directions if they spend too much time in the labyrinth fighting cgi monsters i will lose interest real quick one of the weakest moments of Arifurata, I hate it when we're in Arifurata where we're just d dungeon farming. I genuinely do not give a fuck about fighting random CJ monsters that has no threat. In the beginning, it might be interesting, but like after a while, it's just like, okay, just another CJ monster number 234, who gives a fuck? But the faster we get out, the faster we can start reuniting with the classmates and have actually one of those power fantasy bullying moments. That is where all the payoff comes from. I just hope that they're going to spend too much time in the labyrinth, and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time. Take care.